for the first time in the history of our club, we've qualified for the Champions League. This has been one of my dreams, seeing my very own created club walking out with the Champions League anthem. It's going to be a special moment, but honestly, it's been a grind to get here. Over five years of hard work, and last season, our best player Igor Ribeiro almost left. We had to convince him to stay, but in spite of all that, the team came through and delivered, and this season, we're going to be playing in Europe's elite club competition. Competition. But one thing's for sure, we're not going to be in the Champions League just to compete. We're going to try and win it. For that though, we're going to need money. And the only way we can get that is from our sponsors. As usual, we're starting out with a transfer budget of zero. And if we want to win the Champions League, if we want to win the Premier League, we're going to need money to improve this team. Thankfully, last season, we were able to complete a lot of the clauses that were there in our contracts. Adidas wanted us to qualify for the Europa League or the Champions League, which we done and for that they're giving us 30 million the question is will adidas renew with us so far throughout the history of our club we've constantly had to change sponsors to get the best deals but this time adidas are offering us 60 million to just sign with them and a 50 million bonus if we somehow win the premier league or the champions league i love this guys because it gives us a bit of stability and we're signing with adidas now we're cooking boys i told you 80 million in the transfer budget but we haven't even spoken Talking about our shirt sponsor. Last season, we had Nintendo, and they were pretty lucky for us. Came through with a big budget, and would you believe it? They're willing to up our budget for this season. 70 million, our biggest ever sponsorship, Nintendo are cooking. And yet, it's awesome to see for once we don't have to change our sponsors. The brands are trusting the club. And of course, we're signing with Nintendo. 150 million. That is outrageous. Our biggest budget ever. And to be fair, this season, we've got our biggest ambitions ever too. I want to win the Premier League. Probably the Champions League too. We're going to have to give it everything. Saying that, I think our club is too big to play in a teeny tiny stadium. It's finally time to splash some cash on a stadium upgrade. Ooh, I like the Forest Park Stadium. Capacity of 28,000. Worthy of a Champions League club. But it's going to cost 20 million for the upgrade. Do you know what? I think we'll take it. Our budget's big enough. The brands and sponsorships have been stable. I think we can afford this. There you go. Our home stadium, the Berry Park, is getting bigger. With the stadium upgrade done, it's time to unveil our kits for the season. And this is what we've got for our home kit. Love the design. A bit of stripes with the yellow. The Nintendo logo looking awesome. This is definitely a solid home kit. Talking about kits, if you guys want to get yourself an S2 GFC kit, now is the perfect time to do so. Link will be in the description and this man Rooney will get you a 10% discount so use code Rooney to get yourself 10% off. My recommendation get the jersey and the hoodie. I'm really annoyed I can't wear the hoodie right now because I'm back home in my OG setup and I don't have my S2GFC merch here. All that's in Dubai but I've still got S2GFC in the heart. We represent the club at all times. Moving on to our away kits for the season a different kind of design. I don't think we've seen this on an S2GFC kit but I like it a bit of maroon. It's definitely a vibe. The goalkeeper kit's looking solid too this season. And finally, here's our third kit. Bit of a different design. Got a bit of light blue in it. I like the kits, man. Hopefully in these kits, we can be winning the big trophies. In the comments below, rate these kits out of 10. With all the admin stuff out of the way, it's time to kickstart our season. This is the team we're rocking. The team that I believe will take us to the Premier League title and Champions League glory this season. Yeah, but it sounds pretty ridiculous because we don't have Karim Benzema anymore. He's retired. Dave Rooney is the man we're going to have to trust. But is he good enough? Look at his stats. He's only got 79 shooting. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. One man, though, that's going to have to lead this team once again is Igor Ribeiro. Midfield, Kobe Menu and Bernardo Silva is pretty incredible. Kovalenko, Billy Wilson in there down the wings. At the back, we've got the angry Bernard Bernard, Thomas Arnold too. Cooney, maybe a position that's where we get an improvement. Sam Tickle's been unbelievable, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with him as our keeper, but if you look at our bench, we don't have a backup goalkeeper, nor do we have any sort of decent depth for the attack. I can't lie, there is a lot of work to be done. Good news is that we've got 130 million this season. We're gonna make some superstar signings, but before that, I think it's time to honor our best players from last season. Let's start with goal of the season. Last season when we signed Bernardo Silva, we knew he was going to do something special for us. But I was not expecting him to score this goal. And that's right guys, Bernardo Silva wins goal of the season. And you know what award winners get? A playstyle plus. Okay, Bernardo's 
already got technical plus. What do we give him? It's got to be incisive pass plus. Yo, Bernardo's going to be cutting through defenses. The next category we've got is our best defensive player. And this is one where you guys want it. And for this award, Sam Tickle and Thomas Arnold were the nominees. I'm surprised Bernard Bernard wasn't nominated. To be fair, I think both Thomas Arnold and Sam Tickle had ridiculously good seasons. Especially Sam Tickle, who made crazy amount of saves. And look at that. He's won this vote by a landslide. By the way, playstyle pluses are glitched for goalkeepers. So we're giving Tickle a normal playstyle cross claimer. So we stop conceding from pesky crosses. Moving on to our final award for best attacker of the season. Now, this one was between Igor Ribeiro and Benzema. Very close. And to be fair, Benzema got all the goals. But Igor was just special in his own right. And that's what you guys think too. I mean, he's already got two playstyle pluses. Technical plus and trickster plus. What do we give him now? Well, we've given him quick step plus the same play style as Kylian Mbappe. I'm so glad we renewed his contract and he's staying in the club. But all right, guys, it's now time to look ahead and figure out how we can improve this team. Straight away, I think we need a right back. And I've no interest in playing around. Signing someone like Ashraf Hakimi, the first Moroccan to play at S2GFC. Oh boy, would it be special. 86 rated as well. Incredible pace. I think he could offer so much to our team. But yeah, one thing about Hakimi is that he will defensively be a bit sus. And I don't know if that's a good thing. Well, the other option we've got is signing Trent Alexander-Arnold. I mean, that would be pretty amazing too. Doesn't have that much pace, but he makes up for it with his passing and dribbling. It's actually such a difficult one. Oh, Trent's gonna be like 100 million. Nah, it's not difficult, boys. I think we need to settle for Hakimi. All right, should be too difficult, boys. If we offer something like 55 million, I think Arsenal should entertain us with this. Wow, they've just countered seven. 75.5 million. Are you crazy? We still need to make signings after this. Okay, let's go back down to 60 million and see what they're saying. You know what? We can tempt Arsenal into accepting this. And yup, look at that. 60 million works. Mikel Arteta tried to scam me. I was never paying 75 mil for Hakimi. I'm just hoping Hakimi doesn't ask to become the highest paid player in the club because that was the deal with Igor Ribeiro, our best player. He stays at our club only if we make him the highest paid player. So we're going to have to reduce Hakimi's wage well, he's willing to accept that. 92,000 per week. That's perfect. Oh, the appearance bonus and signing bonus is massive, but it'll still leave us with a bit of cash. And would you believe it? Ashraf Hakimi is heading to S2GFC. A phenomenal transfer. Oh, that defense now looks really good with Hakimi in there. But you know, one more position we need a bit of depth is the goalkeeper spot. We don't even have a backup keeper. Okay, I don't want to be spending too much here, so we're going to pick up a free agent. Okay, I found this guy, Pablo Kuna. Spanish. Actually, he doesn't look too bad. 74 rated. And there you go. We've literally signed him for free. Wait a minute. What am I seeing here? Oscar Bob has submitted a transfer request. No, he was one of our bright prospects. To be fair, though, ever since the emergence of Kovalenko and Billy Wilson, Oscar Bob has kind of been put on the back foot. We've got an offer from Valencia for him, and I, I think we're just going to have to accept it. And also, he's learned how to be a goalkeeper, and his nationality has changed to Oman. Yo, what's happening? Alhamdulillah. Guys, I think we're witnessing a glitch over here. Oscar Bob, how has he changed his country? I can't believe it. And, and why can he play in goal? I'm confused, man. Are Valencia trying to sign Oscar Bob to play like goalkeeper position? Anyways, we're countering with 45 million, trying to get as much money as possible. And that's actually worked. And yes, guys, he's been sold. This has definitely come as a bit of a surprise. I was not expecting to sell Oscar Bob. He was a great option for the bench, but he didn't want that role. We'll take the 45 million, that's for sure. And with that, our budget's back up to 115 million. And you know what? That's got me thinking. We could do something crazy with that money and bring in maybe a superstar winger. That's if we want to keep trusting Dave Rooney. Bro, that idea sounds crazy. You know, maybe someone like Bukayo Saka. Vinicius Jr., I don't know if he's going to be in our budget, but it's it's just, it's an option. But you know what? I don't want to rush into a decision. A striker or a winger seems like the option. We've got pretty much a month to decide. Let's kick off our Premier League season and just see how the team feels like. Oh, but we've got a tough start to the season, man. Chelsea at the bridge, then Liverpool at home. All right, man, let's get a feel of this team. Hakimi's making his debut. Brand new Premier League season begins this time around. We are indeed going for the title and we've got to start 
by being able to beat these clubs. No, we've been opened up too easily. Sam Tickle with a massive save. This is something we need to avoid this season. Against the big clubs, we need to know how to take results. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble. And this already smells trouble. Bernard, Bernard, no. Ah. Oh. Looks like a terrible start to the season. And we've not been good at saving penalties, man. This is going to be a problem. We concede. We can't afford this, man. We really can't afford this. We need to figure out a way to win this game. This is where Dave Rooney needs to prove his worth. Otherwise, he could get replaced with a new striker. Dave Rooney finding space. Keeps finding space and it gets blocked. Oh, my days. We've just got burned for pace over there. 2-0 Chelsea. Absolute disaster. How are we going to compete for the Premier League title this season? It really feels like we've not improved at all. Kobe Mainu looking for Dave Rooney who's found space. Nope. Oh, he can't score. I can't believe it. It really looks like we're desperate for a new striker. Oh, Billy Wilson has won that. And he's in a great spot. Chelsea are caught lacking. Yeah. Billy can't finish it. I can't believe it. Igor Ribeiro, surely not. Surely not. Igor Ribeiro doesn't mess with things. He's got us back into this one. Our best player from last season coming through again. Hakimi there contributing a bit. He's not really had much to do. I'm hoping in this second half we can see what Ashraf Hakimi can bring to this team. Linking up here with Kovalenko. Oh, he got taken out there. Free kick. And I'm going to take this one with Hakimi because I know... He can deliver a decent ball into the box. And maybe that is what we need. But that is not a decent ball. Kovalenko. Oh, lovely stuff. Looking in for Ribeiro again. Who's looking to open up Bruh. some sort of space. But there just isn't any Chelsea. They're parking the bus. On the breakaway. This is what we want from Ashraf Hakimi. He's got the pace. But does he have the delivery into the box? Let's see. Keeps going forward. Cutting it back for Ribeiro. We made it look so easy. Hakimi on his debut. Getting an assist. And Ribeiro getting us back into the game. No, no, no. Big mistake there. Arnold, please clear this away. We can't concede again. No. What are we doing defensively? Bernard, Bernard and Thomas Arnold. Comical defending. We've let Mr. 007 bully us. First game of the season done. And it's a disaster. I can't believe we lost to Chelsea. We, we can't be doing this. Based on that first game, guys, I think what we need more than anything else is a new striker. And I think we need to be spending big. I think we all know Dave Rooney in moments. He's got the talent. Last season, you've seen him score some amazing goals. But look at those stats, man. His finishing is just 77. Can we win the Premier League with those kind of stats? I don't think so. Wait away, heading into our next game against Liverpool, man. Who was responsible for this fixture scheduling? It's really put us in the back but if we lose this game, we're going to be on zero points after two games. Oh my days. Oh, Bernard, Bernard, not again. What is happening? We're collapsing. And I'll tell you what, guys. We've not saved a penalty in ages. Sam Tickle, he does not save one again. Guys, if we lose this game too, we're going to be in trouble. Forget the Premier League. All that dreaming about the Champions League, we probably won't even qualify for it. Okay, wait. We might still have something to say here. Igor Ribeiro, Igor Ribeiro, the cheeky chip. It's off the bar. We need a bit of luck and we're not getting it. Oh, Dave Rooney controlled that well. Goes for goal, scores. Dave Rooney out of nowhere. How is he not offside? This is an instinctive goal if I've ever seen one. Somehow he kept himself on and bang. But guys, we cannot let this game get away from us here. We need to be the one asserting. We're playing, by the way, in our brand new home stadium. It's massive and we cannot let the fans down. Which is what we're doing with defending like this and Hakimi doing a good job. Oh, when Hakimi gets forward, it's really exciting to see. And now it's Kovalenko. We're moving it forward, looking for Dave Rooney. Chess it down, but Dave was too slow to react. No, 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 we can't Ooh. concede. Bernard, Bernard with a big block. What just happened? Okay, it's one of their players who got a booking. I thought we conceded another pen. Get it away, get it away, get nope. it away. Sam Tickle, that's a ridiculous save. No, it's a massive giveaway from us and they've scored again. I have no words. I literally have no words. It really feels like since Benzema's gone, Luka Modric as well, since these two have retired, We've lost a bit of stability in every department. Although, when you've got Ribeiro, you've still got a chance. And he's giving us some hope. That was an unbelievable dribble from him. Billy Wilson. Good play, Dave Rooney. We've opened them up. He got Ribeiro. Let's go, boys. We needed that. We've taken the lead for the first time in this game. And we better keep it. Ribeiro again stepping up. And now the game is opening up with Ribeiro just getting through and through. And he goes for another one. Could have got a hat trick. Set piece, nope. and the header is saved somehow. We've really got Liverpool on the back foot here. One more goal and we can kill this game off. And Ribeiro, it's always him. 
Driving the ball forward, looking for the cutback. Should be the goal. Bernardo Silva gets it in the 84th minute. Should be job done against Liverpool. What a comeback this game's been. Absolutely insane result, boys. We needed this. It's honestly given us a bit of breathing room. We're back up to eighth in the Premier League. Oh, but look at Manchester City. are probably our big rivals for the season. They've won both their games. Because you know who plays for them. Toby Payne, former prisoner, former S2 GFC player. He helped them secure the Premier League last season. This time around, though, I want to beat him. And oh, look at that. Right when we're trying to decide whether we need a new winger or a striker, Dave Rooney has gone up to an 80 overall. At this point, I'm still unsure where this 115 million goes. Or maybe we could sign both a striker and a winger. Instead of maybe a superstar getting some high-quality players, I think that could be a play too. There's a lot to be done. But now let's keep building momentum and hopefully beating Leeds. Remember, guys, back in the day, Leeds were one of our rivals during our championship days. Both of us now in the Premier League. But I think we have left them far behind. Although I shouldn't be saying that because if they beat us here, that statement will come back and haunt me. What on earth was that? Okay, I'm freaking glad it's offside. On the charge we go with Lewis Hall looking for the cutback for Billy Wilson. Ooh. Finding space, but the shot gets blocked. We get that early goal against Leeds, and I think we're winning this. Kovalenko trying to get one in. That was close. We got Ribeiro sliding this one for nope. Bernardo Silva. That was, again, a really good chance. Having to do a bit of defending, and that's not good, but we've got Sam Tickle. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's bad. And Sam Tickle again with a ridiculous save. Yo, Leeds have caught a snapping towards Easy. the end of this half. And Sam Tickle with three insane saves. Second half now, we got a bit cocky, man, in the first half. We can't afford to drop points in games like this. We need to win. Uh-oh, defensively, we're kind of struggling. Not. Sam Tickle keeps saving us. We're going to need something special here from Igor Ripero. And we know he's got the pace. Running it down the wings. Brings it inside, though, this time around. Can he look for a pass? He does find Kovalenko. Could be a chance. Cut back for Ribeiro. Nope. I can't believe that's not gone in. Set piece. We're taking it with Bernardo Silva. What a header from Bernard. That is so unlucky. Oh, my days. We've been nope. opened up. Sam Tickle. I was ready to concede there because we deserve to concede. Sam Tickle has just given us hope. And now Igor Ribeiro on the other side with his ridiculous pace. Keeps going. Still Ribeiro. Oh, but he lost the ball there. Dave Rooney's got it. Can he do something? Looks for Kovalenko. We might have one chance in this game. Oh, the cross was bad, but... Oh, it's saved. We deserve to concede, man. If they score now, I'm not even going to be mad. But if we can just keep a point, that would be really good. That's how bad this game has just transformed for us. There you go. Full time. This just shows we're lacking attacking firepower. Dropping points against Leeds. Nah. This was supposed to be a season where we take the club to the next level. Instead, it feels like we've regressed. Although we do have the money, we can make the signings in next episode we need to. By the way, the draw for the Champions League yet to be made. We're on transfer deadline day. Before these 10 hours run out, we need to figure out how we can improve the firepower in this team. You guys in the comment section, I need your help.